Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about whether Byron Leftwich and Todd Bowles have a chance to get hired away from the team as a head coach for one of these teams that has a vacancy. I know that I could make this video, you know, later on in the season, basically whenever the season's over, but the NFL did change some rules and they are now letting teams who have head coaching vacancies interview candidates for said vacancies. Teams like the Texans, the Lions, the Jets, and whoever else may have a vacancy, I don't remember, but those teams can now interview candidates. I don't know if there's any rules involving, you know, teams that are going to the playoffs. Those teams are, you know, those uh, potential candidates are probably barred from getting interviewed, but still, the point still stands that teams can at least think about interviewing candidates early. We've seen some candidates already getting interviews. So I thought to myself, you know, is it possible that Byron Leftwich or Todd Bowles, one, will get an interview, or two, possibly even get hired away from the Buccaneers to go be a head coach of another team? And while I haven't seen my fellow YouTubers on here for other teams, shout out to Jets Talk 24-7, uh, Jet Central, among other, uh, you know, Falcons, Lions, YouTubers, all these other different, you know, team YouTubers talk about it. I have seen the national media talk about it, and I've seen some national YouTube channels talk about it a little bit, and I'm very intrigued because while they mentioned Todd Bowles a little bit in these candidate discussions, they've been mentioning Byron Leftwich a pretty decent amount, and I just kind of wanted to talk about it with all of you guys. So before I get into my opinions, I want your guys' opinions. Let me know down in the comments section below. Do you feel like Todd Bowles and Byron Leftwich will get an interview for any head coaching positions? And then do you think any of the either one of them will actually get hired for any of the head coaching positions? Leave me your thoughts down in the comments section below. But let's get started with Todd Bowles, right? Now, I feel like Todd Bowles would be the stronger head coaching candidate out of the two between Bowles and Leftwich. If I had to pick between the two of them as a head coach, I would go with Todd Bowles. Uh, one, he has head coaching experience already. I believe he was the head coach for five years with the New York Jets. And while it always wasn't a great situation, you could make a legitimate argument that Todd Bowles, quite frankly, never had a quarterback. Uh, and if he did, things could have went a lot better because the defense that Todd Bowles always had for the most part in certain situations were pretty good. And since he has come to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Buccaneers defense has been pretty good. They've been a lot better than what it was with the Dirt Cutter era. People forget that, by the way, whenever they uh, criticize Todd Bowles sometimes on his defense. I mean, this is leaps and bounds better than what we saw with Mike Smith and what was going on with the old regime. I mean, Todd Bowles, I think, has been a fine defensive coordinator, and I would not be surprised if he got a head coaching interview. Uh, given certain circumstances around the league and certain rules, you know, I definitely, I definitely feel like he could get a chance uh, to interview. And hey, if he interviews well and he comes in with a solid plan, and if there is a quarterback there, I think that Todd Bowles could su could succeed. You know where I think would be a good spot for Todd Bowles, the Houston Texans. I think Todd Bowles could be a great coach for the Houston Texans. They have some key pieces on defense in place, and they actually have a quarterback, I think that you could slot Todd Bowles right into that head coaching job, and I think that he could have success with that team right away. I would not be surprised if either them, or maybe even the Detroit Lions, who are also in a similar situation to the Texans, interview Todd Bowles. Because again, I think that he can improve defenses, and Lord knows that the Texans and Lions need some improvements on their defenses. And if he has a quarterback in place, and he has a good offensive coordinator, I think that overall he could be a very successful successful head coach. So yeah, I, I, if I had to guess Todd Bowles, Texans, Lions, they may be guys who are, or maybe teams rather, who are interested in a guy like Bowles. And I think overall he should get some interviews, at least one, I would think, with one of those teams. And I think that overall he would be a fine head coach. Now, moving on to Byron Leftwich. Uh, listen, Byron Leftwich has gotten a lot of flack this season for a lot of different reasons. His play calling, you know, the fact that he doesn't get Tom Brady and all these other different types of criticisms and critiques have been thrown towards the way of Byron Leftwich. And I understand that completely. I think Byron Leftwich could be a better offensive coordinator. I think he could be a better play caller. Uh, I still think that his game plans are not always the best in certain games, especially against division rivals, uh, you know, against the Saints. I mean, it just seems like they have his offense figured out every, you know, every single time that the Saints have played the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So I think that that's a big obstacle for Brian Leftwich is he just doesn't have enough seasoning yet 
you know, he doesn't have an, enough experience to be a head coach. He's still extremely young, by the way. I believe he's in his mid is he in his mid 30s or mid or early 40s, I think. He's an extremely young offensive coordinator and head coaching candidate. And I think that would be a big uh, potential red flag for some teams, but I could also see that as, you know, a chance for other teams because, I've, I've again, I've seen on a lot of the national channels, they call Byron Leftwich a young and up-and-coming head coaching candidate. Bruce Arians is obviously vouching for him. I mean, if Byron Leftwich, or sorry, if Tom Brady said something to vouch for Byron Leftwich, I mean, that could get him a job off that alone. We've seen in the case of Adam Gase, Peyton Manning has vouched for him a couple of times, and that's gotten him two head coaching jobs, and he's absolutely terrible. So, uh, it, no, I'm not saying that Byron Leftwich is going to be the next Adam Gase or anything like that, but I'm just saying having one of the greatest quarterbacks or the greatest quarterback of all time vouch for you and say, yes, this man is a good coach, goes a pretty long way in getting hired as a head coach, just looking at the Adam Gase situation. So I think one of the biggest things that would have to happen for Byron Leftwich to get a head coaching job would have to be Bruce Arians and Tom Brady both saying, hey, this guy, he's a good play caller. He's a good offensive coordinator. He can help out an offense a ton. And I think he could get some interviews. Who could interview Byron Leftwich? Well, the first team that I would think would probably be the Atlanta Falcons. And I know it's going to be like, ah, oh, James, come on. You know, the Atlanta Falcons, they're a division rival. Well, they need a head coach. And they just got rid of their defensive-minded uh, coach in Dan Quinn. I would not be surprised if they're thinking about going with a younger offensive-minded option. And they've still got some pieces. They've got Matt Ryan. They've got Julio Jones. They have Todd Gurley as the running back. They may bring him back. They've got Calvin Ridley, who's phenomenal. He could be a number one wide receiver in his own right. And if the only problem that they're thinking is that they just need a little bit of an infusion on the, or, you know, they need a little bit of a boost to their offense to really get things set up. Byron Leftwich could be the guy that they decide to bring in and, you know, maybe they feel like he is a good enough play caller and, you know, a bright enough young mind to, you know, steer this ship in the right direction in terms of offense. Now, he would have to have a very good defensive coordinator, much like how Todd Bowles would have to have a very good offensive coordinator, but we've seen this in the NFL where some of these really young coaches, like in Cincinnati with Zach Taylor, obviously the Rams with Sean McVay, Kyle Shanahan over in San Francisco, these young offensive coordinators who put out good results on paper, um, and you know, overall scheme, you know, is, is a fine scheme anyway, they get hired to uh, these teams who are looking for head coaches. I just named three pretty solid examples there. And I think that Byron Leftwich in his scheme, you know, basically just kind of a variation of Bruce Arians' scheme would fit very well with what the Falcons do. It's very similar to their, you know, current offensive coordinator scheme, Dirk Cutter, in a lot of ways. But still, I could see the Falcons' ownership saying, you know what? Yeah, this is going to benefit our wide receivers. This is going to benefit Matt Ryan. You know, there's these deep shots, the play act. Well, if he, if he wants to run play action and all these other different types of things that Byron Leftwich does on offense, we could see that benefiting our offense. And I could see them at least interviewing Byron Leftwich for that Falcons head coaching job. Maybe, maybe the Lions as well, much for a very similar reason as to what I just said for the Falcons. They're looking for a boost to their offense. They have the weapons. They have the quarterback. Why not just go for it? Maybe the Texans as well. I'm not sure, but I could see teams who are out there trying to go on that trend of saying, hey, let's hire a young and upcoming offensive coordinator um, looking for Byron Leftwich. I'm not saying that he would be you know, I, I'm not saying that, you know, it would be immediate success, but I, I can understand the reasoning as for why teams might want to go ahead and interview and potentially hire Byron Leftwich just because of the way that thinking is for the NFL teams as of late. So again, I would still t pick Todd Bowles over Byron Leftwich. I think that Todd Bowles would be a pretty solid head coaching candidate. In the case of Byron Leftwich, I feel like I haven't seen enough. I feel like he's too inexperienced right now as, an, as just a coach as a whole to get a head coaching gig. But that hasn't stopped NFL teams before for making, you know, risky plays for young and upcoming coordinators. So who knows? If Tom Brady vouches for him, if Bruce Arians vouches for him, Byron Leftwich could get a hire. And then Todd Bowles, I think, has a pretty impressive resume that could get him a hire as well. 
Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see. I think both guys will at least get an interview, but I don't think either one will probably get hired as a head coach. I would lean it more towards in favor of Todd Bowles potentially getting hired more so than Byron Leftwich. But let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about both these guys? Do you feel that either one of these guys will get an interview? Do you feel that either one of these guys will get hired as a head coach and why? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. I will see you in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.